the stop, the actual stop distance. Now what I'm doing is positioning this dust lock so I keep the rotor plates flat. Right. I've seen that on the videos. Believe me, I watch them daily, constantly. I, I, I'm kind of self-taught with what you're telling me. I see those guys do that as soon as they land. They level the blades off and then they taxi rotor plate. Most pilots forget the final part of that flare when I pull the stick all the way back to me at the very, once we've got our wheels on the ground, you pull that stick all the way back and that puts a lot of drag on this rear place and you stop and almost nothing. Yeah, the other wife walked into the computer the other day and I was doing that on my chair. She says, I wasn't sure what you were doing, so I let <laughs> My buddy Sam has a bunch of airplanes over there today. Okay. Old planes, aren't they? Yeah. What does he charge to lease this at? Fifty bucks an hour. Oh, you got a tech? You got a, you got a power meter? There. Oh, okay. So he's not aware that the radio's not working. That he's not aware. No, I'm going to. Uh, when uh, Lonnie McClung, he's the president of the Tail Hook Association, by the way. Yeah. He's got uh, the president of this company, so Lonnie and I 